All right, guys, today I'm going to be taking the DJI Mavic Air 2 out for a little flight. I do have the ND filter on, and today I'm going to be comparing it to the DJI Spark. I know a lot of you will be upgrading to the Mavic Air 2 from the Spark, so I wanted to show you what kind of footage you can get with the Mavic Air 2. And a little piece of information about this drone is with the ND filter, you'll notice that the footage is very choppy in 4K24 without the ND filter. And while having the ND filter on it, it's a lot smoother. So today I'm gonna to be using the ND filter. It's just the ND16. And let's get this started. Alright, so you guys know about setting this up. I'm sure you've seen other videos on setting up this drone. It's really simple. I like to put the phone in first. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. That way I don't disrupt any of the buttons. So hook the phone up. And then I'm going to do the control sticks really simple okay now that I got that started up I've got kind of a homemade launch pad here I'm gonna start up the drone and then I'm going to start up the controller I set that there to kind of hold that stable all right let's go inside the DJI fly app Okay, looks like I had that in auto. So 4K, 24, that's what we'll be running in. And I'll, I'll be comparing the two on the screen and you'll see for yourself which one you like better. And with the Spark, you can't go to 4K. What I'll have is 1080, 24 frames a second. And with... Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And with the Mavic Air, I'll have... 4k 24 so you can see no HDR everything's normal okay let's start recording and you got to do an initial unlock because I am near somewhat near an airport okay now we can launch Okay, now it's giving me another confirm this flight in this area. All right, and I'm just gonna take it out. I don't feel any wind coming from any direction. Also, another thing to keep in mind is this drone goes a lot further than the Spark. Let's do a little footage on the skateboard park here. And you can just see. I'll do a tracking on the skateboard park.
coming in. Let's point the gimbal down and see exactly how well we got it here. So it's doing all that on its own. I'm not doing anything. It does have sensors pointing downwards. Oh boy, it's way off. Let's see if it moves. Okay guys, as you can see, that was not precision landing at all. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I didn't leave it hovering. Oh, it's chopping up some grass. Maybe I didn't leave it hovering over that long enough. I'm assuming that's what happened. Turn that off. <sighs> Seems to be all right. Turn this off before the battery has issues. Now I've done it before and it's landed perfectly just like that. I'm assuming it's because I didn't let it hover. I just kind of took it out immediately. That's the first time I've ever seen it do uh, so bad. I've never had it that far away. I'd say that's a good 30 feet off, 25, 30 feet off. That was pretty bad. Um, and with the spark, I actually haven't had any problems either. Um, that is definitely the worst I've ever seen it do. I'll have the most up-to-date prices of both drones, and you can make the decision of which drone is best for you. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.